Hello everyone, it's so good to stand in front of you all today and today I want to talk to you about how to learn vocabulary and yeah and, and the, about the importance of learning English so do you want to hear it? okay let me tell you about it okay firstly we will Mm, discuss about how important of English. Yeah, English is very widely used. It is spoken by people in England, United States, Australia, India, and many other countries all over the world. It's one of the working languages at international meetings. Most international business letters are written in English. Thousands of books and magazines are written in English too. If you know English, you will find you can enjoy so many more books. English is really a bridge to so much knowledge. If you master English, you master the world. Yeah, But many people tell me that it's very hard to remember new words. They complain that no matter how hard they try to memorize new words, they always forget them. Yeah. The best way to remember new words is to practice them every day. Yeah. And I will share with you about one very powerful tool. It can help you remember new words very easily. Yeah, this is rule number one. one. This is num rule number one of FS English. Did you want to hear about it? Yeah. The rules, the rule number one is learn phrases, not learn individual word. Remember that. Learn phrases, learn sentences, not learn individual word. Why? Because when you learn phrases, you can remember more. A phrase has a lot of information, has more information like an individual word. And it is like a, like a picture. And your brain can remember it more. Yeah. And you should have a notebook when you see a new word. Write the whole sentences. Write the whole sentence in your notebook. And and other moreover, you can write where is these sentences come from. Yeah, maybe you read it in a story. Yeah, you can make you, you can write after the sentence in the name of the story. Yeah. This way is very different between the way you learn in school, right? In school, the teacher gives you a list of new words. Yeah. For example, when you learn a new word, a new word, hate. Yeah. The teacher will force you when you come back home, you have to write the word hate, hate three lines yeah fourth line first line hate 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 the second line hate 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 the third line hate 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 and it doesn't work you maybe you can remember it just for the next day for the teacher test right yeah you just learn for the teacher if you don't didn't learn the new words the teacher will give you a bad mark, right? And you will be punished. Yeah, and you cannot use it in communication. Yeah, and uh, the way I I talked to you before, it can help you use it easier. Yeah, you can use it in sentences in when you communicate with everyone. Understand me? So try. Yeah, let's use this 
way to learn new words. Do you remember it? Yeah. Learn phrases, not learn individual word. Yeah. And the best way to remember it is to practice them every day. Practice them in sentences in paragraphs. Yeah. Listen to the tapes and read it along every day. Otherwise, you will forget easily. If you need my help, please call me. We are friends. Friends help each other. Let's conquer new words to conquer English. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you like it. And if there are any comments, please give me some comments. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. See you next video.